Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Uh, today we'll talk about the to-do's configuration on the HRSD series. So this is the 14 sessions of the HRSD series. In this series, we'll talk about the to-do's configuration, how we can use the to-do's configuration, and this is mostly for the portal, ESC portal. So without wasting time, let's get started. In the HRSD module, whenever you open that ESC portal, so this is our ESC portal, you can see in the top we have a to do's options. And these to do have basically a two tab one is the open, and that is the complete. So these two tab, uh, tab have, um, I mean, in this two tab, you will get the many kind of many uh, um, requests. There will be approvals, there will be HR tasks, HR services, there will be many, uh, many um, uh, cases will be came up. And these to do's in this top, there will be count that how many tasks is pending to you. I mean, how many tasks is in open to you. Okay. So, uh, in order to configure that, uh, you can go and configure that so that any kind of task can be visible under to do's module in either in complete tab or in the closed tab. So, let's understand how out of box uh, giving to you so that you can modify uh, in case you need it. Okay. So if you go back to that left navigations in the service now and here type that HR administration under the HR administration if you scroll down so there will be one uh, uh, you know the service portal module in this service portal module we have a to do's configuration and the HR case header configuration HR case header configuration we already covered as part of our last video the configuration how we can do the configuration but today we'll talk about the to do's configuration so if i open the to do's configuration basically uh, you will be able to see the tab one i mean couple of fields basically the one is the name tables condition tab and active or not okay now if i group by with the tab you will be able to see two groups one is the open group another is the closed group it means that whenever you open the dsc portal and to do's click that to do's have a two tab by default so in that case, uh, in your um, service now, they are providing two tabs. One is the complete tab, another is the uh, open tab. And why each tab have a several um, several record? Because um, in a to dos, uh, I want to see uh, the data from this table. Okay, I want to see from the approvals. I want to see from the CD task. I want to see the case, HR task. Uh, you know, uh, you know, couple of tasks. Okay. So I basically want to get, uh, I mean, even if you want to, let's say it's not a thing, I mean, it's not a correct example, but if you want to even see the incident in your to-dos list, you can add that to a table equal to incident. That's fine to get, I mean, um, for technically, if you want to get that data, you can get that, okay? So basically you have a two tabs and in two tabs, whatever kind of data you want to see, you can see that. The number of here will be show always the open tab count. So if you see here, I have two tasks open and one task is basically completed. But in to do tab, I will be able to see only open task count. So that's how the service now out of box is configured. So here, each and every field can be configured. And whenever you are opening uh, one of these tasks or one of these report, this will render in a several widget by several widget okay for approval you can see that we have a button called approve and reject but in case of that hr payroll task checklist we have a different kind of um, uh, data like mark as a complete check all documents something like that right so this is um, i mean these two are several several widget we'll discuss one by one so very first thing is that I'll open first one of the, I mean, one of the um, um, to-do's configuration. One of the to-do's configuration is the approval. So let's open the existing one and then definitely we are going to create a new one. Under a to-do's configuration, as we are modifying um, that uh, to-do's configuration, which is part of the portal. So they have created their, uh, there is another application called HR port, port, uh, resource portal. So you have to change your application to the HR resource portal and under HR resource portal, you can see very first thing is the name. Name is the approvals. So that we are talking about, we are looking for the approvals. And secondly, 
on which table I need to be query that you have to be defined. So our case, we are going to query on the uh, sys approval approval table. Now, uh, what should be the condition? That condition is match. Condition is provided here. So I need that uh, kind of data set, and this data will be visible. So that condition is defined here. Now we have a two details. One is the title row, and one is the detailed row. Okay. So we'll discuss that. Uh, so in the title row, if you see the custom and it's saying that approval request. So whenever you are, I know uh, the app, it is coming, it is saying that approval request, right? It's a, it's a custom, like each and every approvals, it is saying approval request. But if you want to show some specific fields value, so let's say I'll select this one and then I'll change that number. So instead of that, um, you know, it will show the approval. Uh, um, let's select the number and show you that. I'll select the number. So in that case, it will instead of approval for this custom message approve approve request, it will started showing the IHR case number. So now you can see it is started showing the IHR case number instead of a uh, hard coded value. Okay. Now. Uh, that that is uh, you can define here now next thing is the details row in the details row we have a approval for short description approval for short description nothing but this is the approval for short descriptions this is also showing the approval for short description and a uh, link to task means that whenever you click that uh, it is going to actually that particular task record right so that's the um, that's the purpose of the link to task. Okay, so if I uncheck this one and uh, simply save that, and going back to the to dos and to refresh that one more time, so you can see I am not able to click here because this is green mark, but it, it's not going anywhere because this is actually going to that you know. A particular um, until unless you click that it will it won't go now if you here also you can select any parent fields or you can select the customs and say that approval something like that so it will be always static value it never change like the way it was uh, showing on the title row now let's refresh that and see how it will be looks like that by custom field so now you can see we are getting the hard coded value approval here and the here and um, you know that we have selected that link to cut so that's the reason it is going to there uh, here we have a to do uh, to do widget mapping so this widget is basically help you to uh, you know render this uh, data i mean whenever you click that it have a uh, you know approval details this pop up i mean this box is coming and then we have a approved project that this widget is responsible for you know that um, showing that um, app buttons and then on uh, that showing that uh, input box that is the responsible for that one for task also we have a separate video a separate widget that will help you to you know uh, mark as close complete or close incomplete so if i go back here for the task we have a mark as complete so this is the different widget which will be responsible for this one so if i open this uh, widget so you can see that completely descriptions it is saying that this widget is used to approve or reject the to do in case the rejection appropriate revision should be uh, provided okay so this is basically uh, uh, for the rejection only or the approval only so you whenever you go back and click the reject uh, that uh, that that validations and everything is in place of here okay so that's the way it is uh, configured in case if you want to modify or you can in case you want to add some uh, additional table uh, in the to-dos list or in, in case you want additional things you can do that by going to that to-dos configuration creating the new and then uh, definitely the normal the way it is behaving we we normally create two record one for open and one for closed for open whatever is active record we show and then once it is done the action is done like it is complete or maybe it is approved for me or maybe it is complete we normally show into the completed uh, tab so so we, we normally create it in two uh, you know two record for to do configuration one is for open tab another for closed tab 
here you need to provide the table name and then title row whatever field you want to visible or make any static message or any field value if you want to show the last thing i just want to show you here uh, how many widgets are used for the to do's so that i will show you that so if I go to this to do's configuration right now and here we have basically to do's widget mapping if you see under this to do's configuration we have a to do's uh, widget mapping which is actually mapping between uh, this to do's configuration and the widget. So this is to do's configuration and this is the uh, you know widget. Now let's see how many widgets we have so if I do the list by default out of box whatever um, you know widgets they are providing i'll just show you that so now you can see total 13 mapping are there and then uh, uh, if i do group by on the widget so basically five widgets uh, five by default widget are providing by service now uh, based on that some of the widgets for task activity they have provided hrm task activity for hrn inbound task they have created one widget for to do's approval they have created one uh, widget for case acceptance they have created one widget so several several widgets they have created in case if you don't um, want to use the out of box you can create your own widget to make the visible and or make the visibility whatever you think uh, so that's all about how you can configure quickly so most of these things are um, uh, we are covering is that out of box that whatever they have providing and what scope you have uh, so to and what else you can uh, configure uh, without um, touching the code and where you can change your code in case you need it okay so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day we'll see in our next video in this in this time uh, please like share and subscribe my channel and hit on the bell icon to get this kind of update thank you very much have a great day